we got Javante Tang Davis versus Leo Santa Cruz coming up later this year. And my I'm gonna give me I'm gonna give my final predictions on that fight. So you got Leo Santa Cruz, come forward fighter. Not really known as a big power puncher. We got uh, he's a volume puncher. He loves throwing punches and bunches. Then we have Javante Tank Davis, power puncher. Um, he's skilled. Uh, a lot, a lot of people don't believe he is. Don't give him the credit for being skilled, but he has skills. Um. What I think is going to happen in this fight, more than likely, um, Tank Davis is probably going to, since he's been training harder with Floyd, looks like he's a little bit more focused than usual. So I think he's probably going to try to put on a display, probably not going to try to get him up out of there right away, but he's going to show some of his boxing skill. And he's going to mix it up. And I think Leo's not going to really have... He's probably going to have a little bit more. What, what's going to happen early in the fight is Leo's going to try to pressure him. Probably for the first couple of rounds, the gauge tank. And then when when tank start hitting him up, and then Leo going to kind of like go into withdrawal mode. And he's going to feel that power. He's going to be a little bit more hesitant to come in and, and press him. And when that happens, that's when tank going to throw on the Gonna throw the pressure on him, gonna throw that heat on him. And I just don't think Leo Santa Cruz can is gonna really last too long in there. I I would give it round seven. Cause he's gonna be moving around a lot, so Tank gonna have to try to catch him. When he starts hitting Leo, touching him up in the mid rounds, slowing him down a little bit, then that's when uh Leo gonna start deteriorating. In my opinion, because when Leo can go 12, Leo got stamina, and that's the only thing that I can see. That's the only way he can win this fight is, if he, you know, he out punch Tank and move around. Like I'm talking about, move. He's gonna have to move around a lot that whole 12 rounds to the decision. I don't see him knocking Tank out. That's not gonna happen. But I do see Tank stopping him to the body at round seven. I give it so. My final prediction for this fight is Javante Tank Davis by seventh round stoppage. You heard it here first. This is Rebel Life Boxing. Like and subscribe.